do not and i mean do not no no i'm just speaking from the heart from the soul from the My name is Viva La Court. If you're new here, um, if you're not new here, welcome back. And yeah, so today I want to do like a sit down talk video for. Ooh, I look crazy. Y'all probably like, how you gonna tell us something when you look like that? I just got off of work. So that's not even what we're talking about today. Uh, I just wanted to give advice to any incoming freshmen, um, incoming seniors, just anybody that's going to high school this year. Um, and just like tell y'all stuff this mostly applies to girls but i feel like this advice could be taken for boys too it just depends on you and who you are but let's go ahead and jump to the video i feel like this is the most important thing do not and i mean do not let these boys trick you okay please or these girls like don't let nobody trick you out your treat <laughs> don't let nobody trick i'm trying to tell you do not let nobody trick you. Don't let nobody change your mind about, you know, what you want to do. Don't let nobody, like, manipulate you into doing things that they want you to do. Like, when I say that, I mean those boys, like, who act like they're your friend, but they're really not your friend. They, like, really want to be more than friends. And if you want to do more than friendly things, watch out for them. Um, I can't really tell y'all, like how to know which guy is like which friend i don't want to say which friend guy but which guy friend is like is like that because most of them be like that like literally you could be a girl and have like five guy friends and like three friends who are girls and nine times out of ten at least four of those four out of five of those guys they actually like you and have a crush on you and like want to talk to you or like want to mess with you and stuff like that and that's i mean that's not a problem technically but I just feel like it can get messy. But I don't know. Do whatever you want in your life. The second thing I want to say is try in school. Please. Oh, my God. Please try in school. Please try in school. Like, don't waste your time. I'm trying to tell you, like, if you get a good GPA from freshman year and you just maintain that all the way to senior year, then you're going to be good. Like, you're going you're gonna to be great. Like, you're going to be able to get scholarships. Like, you're going to be able to go to college. Like, you're going to be good. So, I just, I don't know. That's just my little tidbit, my little piece of advice. Just, like, try to stay focused on school. I'm not saying make your entire, like, life, your entire school life just around school and just homework. And just, and like, no. Like, don't do that. But just be mindful of your grades and be mindful of what you want to do after high school. Because it goes by fast. Like, I'm when you're in high school it feels like it's taking forever but as soon as you hit senior year senior year goes by like this so enjoy enjoy your time while you got it girl because you're not gonna have fun no more <laughs> after you graduate you're not gonna have no more fun it's over fun's over what what none of that none of that you is it's bills it's your car breaking down it's having to get a new car it's it's not having a car <laughs> It's, it's just it's a it's a lot y'all and i know everything i just named was a car example but it's i swear it's so much it's gonna be something new every week something crappy every week but like at least you'll be able to say like you're an adult <laughs> anyways um the next thing i want to talk about is oh okay yeah the next thing i want to talk about is just like i don't know if this is true i always heard like the friends that you start high school with are not the friends that you end high school with i don't know if that's true because i went to so many different schools and i didn't have friends like that much so like i don't know about that i do know that after high school the friends that you made in high school you probably won't even talk to them but the friends that you made in middle school those probably don't be the people you talk to like for real like that's really gonna be your friends for real at least from my experience um yeah <laughs> next thing i want to say is um don't let nobody don't let nobody tell you about yourself like don't let nobody tell you like oh you're ugly oh you're boring oh you're this or oh, you're that and then you take that and you internalize that and you're like maybe i am ugly maybe i am this maybe i am that. no 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 you're not you're not you're not ugly you're not boring you're not any of these you're not none of that like you're not 
anything these other i don't want to call y'all little kids <laughs> but anything these other kids say anything these other high school people say don't even don't even take that into account don't even i'm trying to tell you even if you feel like oh they're so popular oh i like the way they dress oh maybe they can tell me don't listen to them because they're gonna change you or they're gonna make you feel like like you're not enough as you are and you are don't change for nobody please don't change for nobody because at the end of the day after high school is over you're just gonna go back to who you really you originally was like so you might as well just just stay true to yourself please don't let nobody make you feel crappy even if they try to make you feel crappy just do everything in your power to like not believe them because i'm telling you they be wrong they be wrong they lie they just literally are just trying to hurt your feelings like i'm trying to tell you like kids are evil little stinky i don't want to call them bastards <laughs> but kids are just they're terrible so please don't let nobody try to tell you about yourself the only person who needs to tell you about yourself is you so even if you need to like it's, i don't want to say talk to yourself but like even if you need to in the morning before school like do affirmations like i am pretty i am smart i am going to have a great day i am this i am that i am i am, I am then please do that y'all like there's so much power in our tongue and the words that we use and the things that we say so please just be uplifting to yourself like just take that with you throughout high school please because people are going to try to break you down and it's not even worth it so yeah just just be confident in yourself or at least try to be confident like at least fake it till you make it like just don't let nobody try to tell you about yourself because you know who you are and they don't and they can sit in the back and they can mind their business and that's just that on that period let's talk about boys y'all so let's talk about relationships i can't talk and be like don't get into a relationship when you're in high school because i had a boyfriend like most of my high school years what i will say is don't take your high school relationship so serious but I really don't even want to say that because, like, some people really straight up get married after high school. Like, meet their high school sweetheart. Like, I just want to say, be mindful of, like, your relationship in high school. Like, I feel like if somebody is hurting you and cheating on you, making you stupid, drop them! Cut them off! Exit! Leave! You gotta go. Period. Like, no, seriously, though. Like, kick them to the curb. 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 You don't have time. You're in high school. Girl, you better have fun. You better get cute. And even if you're not the type of person who, like, want to get cute and, like, want to party and, like, whoop-de-whoop, -whoop, you better, you better do, uh, play in the band. You better play your video games. You better be in art. You better make some art. You, like, do you. Like, just don't let nobody, even if it's somebody, even if it's your so-called boyfriend or girlfriend, you love them so much, whoop -de whoop if they're hurting you and you're still in high school and you have no attachment to this person, dip out kick them to the curb like you don't need you don't need that you don't need that mm -mm. you don't need that at all i don't know y'all just be mindful that high school relationships don't always work out and that's okay i'm trying to tell you that's like almost it's almost perfect <laughs> because like i feel like i feel like you change so much after high school so like if you're in this relationship during high school this may not you may not even like like this person by the end of high school or by the time you graduate like you may not even like them you may like a whole different gender like you like <laughs> you're gonna change so much from freshman year to senior year it's actually crazy and yeah so the next thing about high school i want to like tell y'all is it could be very overwhelming sometimes it can be super overwhelming but just know that you're gonna get through it if you're one of those people who doesn't like who has like social anxiety like me <laughs> and you don't like pep rallies and stuff i suggest like finding a teacher that's super cool that you like not finding one like seeking one out because that's kind of weird but like if there's a teacher that you like and that like y'all are cool like that's your favorite teacher like whoop de whoop and you don't want to be in the cafeteria i would advise just going going to go chill with them during lunch if y'all can go to the library during lunch i advise that if y'all can like hang out in the hallway after lunch i advise that just because I know everybody doesn't like to be around a whole bunch of people. But if you are the type of person who likes to be around a bunch of people, have fun, bro. Like, have so much freaking fun that you remember it, like, years after. I don't think that high school should be, like, the peak of our lives. 
but i do think this should be fun and i do think it should be an experience that you remember so have fun have fun do your homework go to class i can't really tell you to go to class because i was never for legal reasons i was always in class but i was never in class i was at my house in my bed i wasn't like skipping but i was because i anyway get out of my business and stay focused just stay mindful that you have to have something to do after you graduate like this isn't just for now um try to do your homework because that's really important even don't i'm not saying like try to be val valedictorian unless that's what you want to do but just try like just try that's it i'm just asking you to try please just try so yeah i know that was a little bit all over the place but i didn't like i'm just speaking from the heart from the soul from the streets <laughs> but yeah this was just coming straight from my heart off the dome and i just wanted to talk to y'all so yeah i hope you guys have an amazing school year i hope y'all have a great school year it's super popping y'all get all your homework done y'all look cute every day y'all get fed y'all eat y'all have fun so i love you guys <laughs> i hope you guys have a good school year and yeah y'all thanks for watching my channel my name is viva la court if you're new here if you're not new here welcome back <laughs> bye guys